guys, welcome back um, to another adventure. It's been a while since we've been on the road and um, we're pretty keen to get away. It's Easter long weekend 2022. Since the last little adventure, there's been a few changes. There's been two more kids added to the gang, which are in the back. Um, and we're just heading off for the Easter long weekend with some friends down to Grady's Riverside Camping. Um, just west of Nowral, um, not far from Yalwall and around that sort of area. Traffic is absolutely chaos getting out of Sydney. We're just like heading towards Mount Oosley right now and it's just fucking Armageddon to be honest. But um, yeah, as I said, we've got our new camper trailer, the King's MT1, our maiden voyage. We're going to, you know, give it a good shakedown, find out what works, what doesn't work and um, share the, the journey with all you guys. Um, it's gonna be interesting. This is the first time we've gone camping with all three kids. With Torben being one year, almost one years old. He's already racked out in the back. That's how excited he is. So um, stick around and enjoy. Well, we made it to camp. In front of the park here. The kids are loving it. We almost, there's a few cows over there, but we we didn't kill each other, but we came close. But we've got our little camp set up, got our little fire pit area, barbecue, we'll start over here. We've got the barbecue on the barbecue arm, which is a good bit of kit, gas bottle. Toolbox can be shut. Got the fridge, kitchen. The kids are in there. Me and Steph are in there. Pantry's a bit of a mess, but we'll sort that out. And that's us in there. And that's camp for the long weekend. Got all the power over here. Coffee machines all ready to go. I've got the solar hooked up on front of the Jeep. And I'm ready to sit down and enjoy a cold beer. Well, we survived night one in the camp, but as you can hear, old mate is not really having a fun time. It took him a while to get to sleep last night. He's just not liking sleeping in the tent. This one's having a good time. What are you doing, miss? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Just about to do some dishes. Then we're going to head into town for a bit of a drive. But everything's working pretty well. Fridges keeping everything cold. Need a, somehow, we're going to go to Kmart today, see if we can find some stuff to sort that out a bit better. Um, it's a bit of a mess trying to look for anything. Also, over here. So sort of just using that as our makeshift storage area. But you can see power's a bit low. Tank's half full. Um, we've got the solar plugged in, but where it's sitting, I'm not getting any, any sun at all. So that's not really working for us at the moment. But kids are loving the part gonna cook over the coals tonight got some steak to cook over there so we'll get that going tonight and um, we'll just continue to try and persevere with young kids family camping hey going guys we're just um, headed into town um, and on the way back we thought we'd go for a bit of an explore we thought we're all the way here why wouldn't we go and have a bit of fun so, come along. Going for a nice drive through the bush. Dean's Gap Road. Um, this links up with Yalwall Road, um, which is up where we're camping. So, rather than take the tarmac, we thought we'd take the dirt track. I think there's a few, um, the power lines are up here, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll see if there's a couple little side racks we can hit.
just come down to Highlands Lookout to check out this view, and oh my god, it is absolutely breathtaking. Haven't been here before. Let's have a quick look off the edge. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. You. Well, we just got back to camp after going on a bit of a mission out for a yellow, a bit of exploring. Unfortunately, um, Steph was on the camera and freaked out a bit and didn't get the footage we needed to send into four wheel drive fucking Explorers Australia. <laughs> we got on a bit of an angle and she freaked out and she, she didn't film the, the run and she wasn't keen for me to do it again. But as you can see, the car's filthy. It's a good, good little experience. Steph's just building, we bought a little bike for Corbin. So Steph's building that, put that together so we can push him around because we forgot to bring a pram. And we've been thinking about getting him one of these for a few weeks, so perfect excuse to buy it. And we'll cook some steaks on the barbie tonight. Should be good. What do you reckon, Mike? Yep. Comments? No. No, no comments. No comments about your videoing. Mm, I don't know. Kids are over at the park playing tackle bull rush. So, day two, camping. What do you think so far, Rubes? The cows. The cows. Did you meet a cow today? Yeah, and it licked me. It licked you? Did you feed it? Was it old Betsy? No, like, no like, I put my hand on it and then it continued. And then it Did it gross you out? Yeah. <laughs> How did you like it? It's also a good place because there's lots of kids to run around with. And Violet, what's your favourite thing so far? Uh, piggies. Piggies? Cool. Where did you see the pigs? Um, on the wall? No. And who did you see at the shops today? The toilet. The big Easter... Yeah. The Easter bunny? So, Steph, day two in our new setup. What is two things you like about it and two things you want to change about it? I think the system comes along when you get the kitchen at cupboards have a bit more order. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the thing is you have to squeeze and wash up squeeze. I think the most important part too with the kitchen setup, as you said, is grouping different things and having like a tub or a box or something to put those things like, together. Yeah. Definitely would help. I think we need to be a bit more water savvy as yeah. well. Definitely, yeah. But I mean, I guess we've taken advantage because we've got water in there we can fill up. So that's one thing. What's another thing that you like? Uh, I think the fridge is very comfortable. And that um, sleeping bag. Nice. I yeah. like how it's double lined. What brand is that? That's the King's. It's nice and warm. Sure. Um, sleeping bag. You know how normal yeah. sleeping bags? I don't like the shiny stuff. I like how it's got like a nice. Yeah, it's like a quilt. Yeah, it feels like a doona from home. So, what's two things you'd change? I'd probably like set up the actual wall so I can there is a bit more space. I feel like in there. In where? In there. In there like, I feel like the yeah, I, I don't. Really, I think having the porter cot and the things, it's it's not big enough. And for me, 
my biggest concern obviously is power. Yeah. Um, and power yeah. consumption. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think we'll be upgrading the 12 volt. That'll be like one of the first things I want to upgrade to be honest is 12 volt. Yeah. We're told that the Easter Bunny's coming tonight. It's Easter. Easter morning down here at Grady's and it looks like the Easter Bunny's brought some little snacks for the kids. They're all just waking up now. Let's see who's in this tent. Hello. How are you going? Hello, buddy. I think someone come. Ruby, are you awake? Oh, you're awake too. Happy Easter. Go and get your sister over there first. I think there's a note there too. Dear Ruby. Dear Ruby. Wait, no, two. Dear Ruby. Dear Ruby. Ruby, Violet, Violet and, and Torben. Torben. Enjoy the chocolate. This is all I could carry through the bush. Love the Easter bunny. I just like that. That is your one. You go and sit on your chair around there. Go and sit on your chair. Oh, Torben. You got one too, buddy. There you go. That one's for you. Can I eat an egg? You can eat an egg. Uh, white. What did you get, Violet? Oh, little love hearts and it says Violet. So, what did everyone get off the Easter bun? A big egg. A big... You got a big egg too? No. With Emmett and Smarties in there. And what did you get, Ted? A ginormous egg. Oh, that that looks like a dinosaur egg. <laughs> I got a little one. You got a little egg? Yeah. Maybe a little, um, little chicken egg. So, I got two bunnies. And lots of little eggs. And wow, buttons. how lucky. I didn't know if he'd be able to find us all down here. And guess what? This afternoon there's going to be an Easter hunt. An Easter hunt? Yeah, underneath 10, so I can go and take some violets and go. You can all go and find some Easter eggs. But, but Logan can't, but he's not under 10. He might be able to just stand on the sideline and help. Where is more? Over here? Oh. packing up in my opinion than it was setting up but old mate's got a drink say hello you're ready for a snooze 
and they're all locked and loaded. Steph's just going to get me a cold coke for the drive home. But we are ready to roll out of here. It's been a great little weekend away with friends. We, we were meant to stay tonight, but given it was our first time packing and setting it up, I wanted to give myself an extra day to be able to get home. One, we're gonna have to pull everything out tomorrow and clean it. And two, we'll beat the traffic back into Sydney. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we do it all again.